Hey guys, welcome to Horror and Me. I'm your host, Darren Mitchell. And on today's video, I thought we would do a haul video. It's been some time since we've done one, and I recently got in a bunch of really cool stuff, so I figured why not do a video. So let's not waste any time. Let's just get right into it. The first thing I want to show you guys is this Trick or Treat Studios Gremlin prop replica I picked up recently. Uh, I saw this at my comic store. I've showed it in a few of my toy hunting videos in the past, uh, but when I saw it, I decided Slappy, my Slappy dummy needed a friend, so I wanted to pick this up. I know there's been some controversy about these online. Uh, people were saying that the paint isn't that good and this and that. I've even said it. The few that I've seen when I went to conventions, they weren't the greatest. But with this one, it turned out really nice. There's not really anything really wrong with the paint on this. I think this is a good example of it. You guys can kind of tell there with the colors. So yeah, I'm really happy with this. It has a really cool presence. I just kind of sit him on one of my chairs uh, with sl with Slappy. So really cool. Happy to finally get the Gremlin prop replica from Trick or Treat Studios. So I picked that up. Oh, what else did I grab? On Black Friday, I went to my comic store. Now, I've seen these figures around. Uh, I don't have any of them until now. But they are made by, let's see... Haya, it's H-I-Y-A. They're kind of like boxed alien sets. I'll just show you the one. We have here the Xenomorph Spitter. Now, the reason I picked these up is they were like $30. Like a couple months ago, they were $30 a piece. But because of Black Friday, they were having a special. So each of these that I'm going to show you were $9. So I couldn't beat that. And plus it's aliens. And you know, alien stuff, I have to have it. So yeah, these are pretty cool. So we have the uh, Xenomorph Spitter. Sorry, there's like a fire, I guess, down the street. The fire engine's going crazy. Um, also, we have the Xenomorph Lurker. And these are cool. They're kind of tiny, but they come with a lot of, lot of accessories. Obviously, these will stay in the box and just kind of libraried on the shelf. So I got that one too. And the final one, I picked up uh, the Xenomorph Boiler figure. He comes with a bunch of different alternate hands and a face hugger. So really, really cool. Let me know if you guys in the comments have any of these. Again, I've seen them around over the last few years, but just never picked them up because I just thought they were too expensive for what they were. But with that $9 for Black Friday, I couldn't beat it. So I was like, you know what? I've always kind of wanted them, so I'm just going to grab them. Uh, we have a couple more things. The first, or the next thing I want to show you guys I'm really excited about. Uh, you guys know that I collect a lot of Soda Toys figures, um, and I'm always after the rarer ones. <clears throat> I just want to first show this one because this is the one I've already had. Uh, but I have the clown from Killer Clowns from Outer Space. It's one of the rarer ones, or it is a rare one. Um, you can get these for between $100 and $150 usually, sometimes even more. Um, but I've always been on the hunt for the Tower Records exclusive. Uh, that one is super rare, it's very limited, and they're very, very expensive. Uh, I happen to be scanning through eBay like I always do, and I came across one at a steal of a price. I couldn't pass it up. I knew if I didn't jump on it right then and there, I'd probably never get one. Uh, so I did. I picked up the Tower Records blue variant of the Clown Killer Clowns from Outer Space figure, and this thing is awesome. The package is in really, really nice condition, nice and clear. I couldn't have really asked for a better example of this one. But there you can see it on the back. It says Tower Records exclusive from Series 1. Very, very rare. I tried to look up how many they actually made. I believe it was less than 100. Uh, but these, these go for crazy prices. I've seen them as high as $500. Uh, most of the time when you see them on eBay, they're teetering around th between $300 and $500. I paid $150 for this. So it's it's one of those things I always say, um, do the waiting game, you know? I know it sucks sometimes, but uh, eventually you will find somebody selling something for a lot less than it's worth or they don't really know the price and you can find a, a good deal. So that's what I did. I'm really, really happy to have this in the collection. Pretty much the only difference is the paint, obviously, and he does come with like a bat instead of a blaster gun. So yeah. Really, really excited to have this. This completes my Killer Clowns from Outer Space collection. So I'm happy about that. 
Uh, up next, I actually have some packages. <clears throat> I actually haven't seen any of these yet. So we're gonna be looking at this for the first time together. Let me just grab my knife. Uh, this next thing, I wanna give a shout out to my friend David from Inner Sanctum of Slime. He's also one of the Hot Cheetos. Uh, he kind of showed this to me. He sent me the email link for it. He knows I've been wanting it. <clears throat> I actually went around, I heard through the grapevine they were selling them at GameStops. Um, so I went around to a bunch of different ones over the last couple weeks and I couldn't find them. They are delisted on their site. So he sent me an eBay listing of it and it was only 20 bucks. And I'm going to show you how awesome this thing is. I don't know if some of you have this or not, but everyone knows I'm obsessed with Labyrinth. So I had to get this figure. <clears throat> and, I'll, and I'll be honest, I really feel like this one is going to be one that's going to be rare at some point, maybe not for 10 years. The NECA Cult Classic one is super expensive now. I wish I would have jumped on it when I saw them years ago, <clears throat> but I feel like this one's gonna be one in a couple years that's gonna be super valuable, especially because McFarland did it. <clears throat> but, oh man, it's cooler than I thought. Oh, I love this. Really, really awesome. Again, I only paid, I think it was like $22, like free shipping. I'm just gonna move it a little bit so you guys can see it. But what we have here is the Jim Henson, Henson's Labyrinth Jareth Goblin figure. Goblin King figure. It's a seven inch. Uh, this is a color top McFarlane figure. But very, very cool. I love how it comes with his masquerade mask. Really, really good representation of David Bowie as well. I really like his, uh, his whole get up with the jewels and really, really cool figure. Awesome. It's definitely bigger than I thought it was going to be. But yes, this is a pro, uh, a nice addition to the collection for sure. Happy to have this. Thanks again, David, for sending me the link for this. Because honestly, I've looked all over the place for this. So very cool. Love this. I'm going to stick it right there. <clears throat> okay, I have one more thing to show you guys. I'm probably going to struggle to get this out of the box, but this is definitely the highlight piece for the haul today. Let me just move a couple things. Uh, if you guys followed some of my videos I did maybe a month, month and a half, two months ago, I picked up some the Warrior Alien and the Big Chap Sideshow Bust, the Legendary Scale. I did just get in another Legendary Scale Bust. Uh, I'll just show you guys the box here. <clears throat> and what I picked up, let me just turn it, is the Predator 2 Legendary Scale Bust. This is the City Hunter. It's the rarest one that they did. Uh, again, I found a steal on this. So, uh, again, play the waiting game online, guys. Don't just don't just buy something for like the whatever buy it now price or whatever. Like you can really get some good deals. I paid half of what this is worth, and that's all I will say. So, let me try to get this out. I'm probably gonna struggle with it. I might have to edit this out, but <clears throat> let me try to get it. This is brand new. Oh, don't rip. That's the thing with these side shows, I just kind of like cram them in here. And it creates like an air pocket. And you can't really pull them. Ugh. All right, cool. Wow, the box is awesome. All right, let me set this down. We'll take the plastic off and take a better look at this. I'm excited about this. I already have a spot picked out for it. I kind of rearranged a lot of stuff <clears throat> to be able to put it with all my other sideshow statues. Oh man, I hope this thing isn't broken or anything. <clears throat> Again, I'm looking at this for the first time with you guys, so I don't know the condition. I'm hoping it's awesome. So let's just take a look at the box before I open it. So this is the box here, pretty hefty box. I would say it's probably about the same size as the Warrior Alien was. You guys can see there. And there's a big picture of it there. So let's open it up and see. As always with Sideshow, there is a certificate of authenticity on the, on the top. All right, let me see here. Oh. 
I don't know what's set up. Let's see this is top. Alright, let's see. I hope none of the dreads are broken. That's what I'm most concerned about. <clears throat> Alright, let's see. Dun da da da. It's my knife. I'm really excited about this one, guys. I have been waiting on this bad boy. Ooh, there it goes. All right, let's check it out. Oh, man. Okay, I thought it was broken for a second, but it was just some uh, styrofoam. Wow, it's bigger than I thought. Very cool, okay. So I'm gonna just take my time here. I don't know if it's one piece or multiple pieces. Okay, so it's just one piece. Let me set this aside. Wow, let me just take a look at this thing before I show it to you guys. Wow, this is amazing. Very, very heavy. I would say this thing is like 50 pounds. 40, 50 pounds. Oh, that's awesome, let's take a look. Oh my god, this thing is awesome! Look at that bad boy. Nice base. I'm gonna get in closer so you guys can see. Let me slip that down. <clears throat> Alright, close up. Alright, check this out. Bam. That thing is so gnarly looking. Oh my god. This is it in full. Nice base. Real good attention to detail. I was watching reviews on it. It's like a fishnet here with the chest. I'm getting close for you. Yeah. A lot of people were uh, saying online that they didn't like the stance because when it's straight on, the eyes are looking down. So they recommend displaying it up high, which I'm going to do. So it kind of looks down at you like that. But yeah, this thing is awesome. Sorry, it's heavy. Let's just do a spin or look at the forehead first. Really, really well done. I love this. Do a spin. Oh, that's sweet. I love the look of that. It's kind of it in the back. Yeah, this thing's dope. Awesome piece. This is gonna look great with the aliens. Very, very cool. So yeah, guys, this is going to close out the end of this haul, but I'm super happy with this Predator 2 City Hunter sideshow piece, legendary scale. Very, very cool. Love this. All right, <clears throat> let me set that down. So I want to say thanks, guys, for tuning in to another episode of Horror and Me. Again, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do. Uh, and I will see you guys next time. Hey, thanks for watching my video. If you guys enjoyed this content and would like to see future episodes of Horror and Me, please subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to keep in contact with me to see more of my content, you can check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Just search Horror and Me. See you guys next time.